into the beautiful rooftop of Vertigo. Astralis G2 ranks four and five. Astralis, though, making a pretty damn strong case to be the strongest of ESL 1's road to Rio. They are 2-0 up in the series. Upper bracket haven't dropped down and now could very well be the final map of ESL 1's road to Rio. Away we go to bloody Vertigo. That's a different one, Alex. There's one for you. You can use that if you like. I got my pen. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get into the pistol here. Uh, must win for G2. They need a bit of success here as they send pretty much all of their troops over towards the A side of the map. Device, bit of a master here. He's got the USP. And he'll spot the first player there. Doesn't find the instant kill, but does a lot of damage towards Amanek there. Oh. Even more from Zipex. Yeah, they want to fight them at least a little bit. Now Kenny oh. met by Device in transition. He was moving the whole time. And he's found another head. Now Hunter completely isolated, but he does stand his ground. And with Smoke's pluming, there is still a very big shot. If G2 can get this bomb down, that is a big if, though. Molotov's great. Glaive burning. Amanex found one on the P250. Glaive desperate to challenge, but they've got away with it. Look at the health they're working with. Nexa so low, even lower now. It's going to be very close here. Still a chance for G2, but maybe not so much anymore. They know Hunter's in towards Shaw, but he's actually stuck through the smoke here. He will be taken down. A decent attempt there from G2 to get the bomb down. It's better than the pistol on Nuke, I'll say that much. Uh, but still, three players surviving for Astralis. Defuse comes in. Now, will they force find the second they didn't before? Yeah, I think that uh, when they can drop AKs across, it might be on the cards here if they want to put something in Nexus and Hunter's hands. But they even have enough to go for Galil's across the board if that was something they were interested in. We see the AK getting purchased on up dropped across to Kenny. Now, Kenny has been a bit of a specialist on Vertigo throughout the road to Rio. When he gets that AWP going, he's probably been, uh, I would say, the best AWPer that we've had the pleasure of witnessing here on this new yeah, map. That's actually, you know what? I'd argue, and it's quite appropriate to argue in this way with this game, but I'd say that actually Device has been the most impressive CT Vertigo AWPer, and Kenny's been the most on the T side. So seeing them clash in this first half will be a lot of fun. Kenny, for this time, is met by Glaive. He's got the Ooh. first and still hanging around for the fight. It was a very scrappy encounter that they kicked things off, but it will be Astralis coming out on top once again. Kenny has removed and a little bit of damage inflicted towards Dupree and Glaive there. The flashbangs were just superb. That was where they had a lot of woes last time around. Dupree had a rough yes, time on Vertigo getting punished on the B bomb site and having to retake A time and time again. But that doesn't I help. Recall, it was in the first like 10 days or so with this iteration of Vertigo being released. So uh, I guess maybe getting used to it, but you're dead on. It wasn't much going on towards B. We're seeing more teams happier on this side of the map as the evolution continues here. And towards B, we will finish up as well. G2 will have two smokes. No way of flushing out. Dupree at the back there towards a the quad, so they'll boost up. And it's still a good chance they can win this. They get that one kill. There's not much in terms of backup. There's three players on B right, right now yeah. for Astralis. They've got one over towards yeah, construction. Glaive as helper. Actually, first contact from Glaive here. He's baiting for Dupree. This is great. Could work out wonderfully. 39 seconds. The flash and the perfect spray. He actually does damage. It's effectively killing two. Hunter's working with seven HP and he's doing so much damage. He's finally knocked off his perch, but they're left with three. And now Dupree can come out of his hidey hole and on quad, they just get melted. Looking very prepared for the push. Huge. Great setup there, Chad. That yeah. was absolutely perfect. The fact that Dupree could just stand there while his teammates were doing the lion's share of damage, taking contact, he's basically set up just to deny the plant at that point and make sure it can't go down to facilitate yet another low buy. And the patience of Dupree as well. He was waiting there a good, what, 30, 40 seconds before he made himself known. Glaive did such a great job there taking that aggro. They had absolutely zero idea there was a CT towards quad. So a beautiful round from Astralis. Remember, they can close out this grand final by picking this map up. And they're up against pretty much the eco here. Deagle PG50s, no armor, no nades, and smoke out of the A round. Zipex rattling off shots with the smoke here, no damage done. Well, this side of the map is something we want to keep eyes on. If G2 Esports are allowed to get control of the A-Ramp with ease, we'll see them do some contact plays or very fast swings just off simple flashbangs. They like to take the jewels and catch the CTs off while they're sitting and thinking they're safe. So that's one of the strengths in this uh, G2 roster's arsenal, as well as leaving Hunter to sell a lot of fakes and go for flanks through A when they are hitting the B bomb site. So we'll keep eyes on the evolution here of the T side of G2. But let's see what they can do with these pistols. Oh, it's looking good for the MB5. You don't mind me saying it's going to be a clean sweep. Astralis will find a 3-0. G2 did their best to wait, bleed out those grenades, but ultimately didn't do too much. Hank, the MP5. Don't I love get it. to see that one a little... Uh... It feels so satisfying. If they have no armor, especially, really can do, 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 do. Yeah, real nice little weapon. Don't see it too often. And there we have it. Will device keep it up? I'm sure he will. So, first gun round here. Kenny S. 
on that T side, looking to find picks towards the A ramp if possible. Not the start they were looking for. They're 0 3 in pistol so far. Okay, this is the A all in. Let's see. Very much all in. And Amanek already met by Glaive. Great resistance. The smoke is so effective. Look at the spray. Nexus working with half health as well. And just before the Molotov fades, Magisk has found another. Kenny wants to equalize and he takes matters straight into his own hands with a colossal frag. If he finds another, we're on and woof, not far off. Whistles past the ear of one of the CTs on site. He got heavily tagged though. Oh, he's oh, still getting killed. Down to two points of health, the HE follow up as well. And we're down to the four versus two. Jackson Nexa pulling one back here, but still with plenty of time, but not much manpower. Just Jax remaining, takes an A, lands at his front door, and just a matter of time before this one's closed out, the MP5 will get himself another $600 there, finds the AWP. This is looking out of control, out of the gate here, Alex. I can't believe we're only four rounds in, I but know. they're flying through it. G2 down to 3.5K, it's not ideal at all. So if we add together the last seven rounds of Astralis' CT side, plus the four here, what did we say, they had seven kills? Yeah. You all, now they've got six. Four so, rounds in. So, uh, look, Alex, you know my maths isn't great, but that'd be a total of 13. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. They, they, Why look, did you have to put it on the spot? I love, I said I love it. I, I love, love it. it. It's the new thing. Do you know my Twitter <laughs> description says two things. It says I'm bad at maths and beatboxing, and you keep making me try and do well, both. Well, can you beatbox this round? Yeah, sure. Uh, boots and cats. Boots and cats. That's how it goes, right? Bomb down, and we are off to the races here. It's going to be the Tech Nine swarming toward the bomb side, but it looks like Zipex and Co. have it under control here. Jax will be denied the second kill. Can they find anything more here? Apparently not. Just going to be one player remaining, that's Nexa, and he's dealt with in due course. The money, it's swelling now. Zipex with $10,000, device not far off it as well. He's already got the orc in his hands, and G2 will have a buy available. Yeah, the money really is starting to get out of control. Just five rounds in, Dupree, your impact player of the fifth round. If you have just joined us, this is the grand finals, looking like Vertigo G2's map pick hasn't started on a particularly positive foot. Now back to the buy, back to Kenny S on that AWP. Let's see if they're contained in the same way they were the first time around. Well, there's not even anybody selling anything really over towards the A site. So not as much utility will need to be dumped from Astralis here. They'll still posture forward, knowing that Hunter is a little bit of a problem. A great utility harassment here early and Brave even wants to get up close and personal with this one. He thinks better of it for now. We're all start to fall off and peel back. And it looks like maybe a B focus here. G2 don't have anyone towards a ramp. B splits are very prevalent in this version of Vertigo. You see that construction area on your screens right now. Device looking towards the boost. And my God, the timing couldn't be better. He knows another player's there as well. Of course, the boost can't be done alone. Throws a grenade, doesn't quite connect. If he had the trajectory right, that would have yep. done 100 damage. He Probably. has bang on. Just a little short of the mark this time. Look how much control they have over to A right now. It's just a, they've got full control. Glaive has all the information. This is funneling them towards the stack of four players from Astralis. They're Good set up ready for this. Yeah. It's Astralis dictating the positioning of G2 right now, pushing them into unfavorable positions. And he didn't spot him. Amanek grabs it in the end, takes himself down to 56, but that's a kill and return. 35 seconds now. CT spawn, not really an option. This is everything. This could be their B push. Nexa spotted. No, oh. he doesn't. Device doesn't see him, and neither does Nexa. He still has the element of surprise, and he's got the Tech 9, and whoa, no, what's that? What? He adjusts to Kenny S in time to find the first. Now, still working at a disadvantage. They've got to get the bomb down. They've got 14 seconds. Where do you go? Nexa's got a plan, but Dupree's on the site. And he's still... Oh, my God, he's hit the shot. They can still win this. In fact, they will with Amanek finding his third frag. G2 on for their first. Glaive to clutch. And there it is. Nexa will find it. It was looking like an impossible round for G2 there, but they make it work. Nexa, Amanek fight their way out of it. Money won't be broken for Astralis, but at least the streak is. His device managing to get the first couple of kills here. Got that great Tech 9 shot as well. They got the opening three kills, Chad, if I'm not mistaken. Though. Yeah, it was uh, quite awkward how in limbo they were there towards middle. We could see that they stacked heavily towards the B bomb site because of all that information we highlighted from Glaive. But as soon as Magus went down in middle, that was the kill that basically put the round in question. So great stuff there from Amanek. He had his woes there in map number one. He's got himself four kills here in map number two, but they're going to need a lot more of that going forward because Astralis are looking hungry to take this one as quick as possible. Maybe they've got some Sunday night plans we're not aware of. 
Could be a possibility, that's for sure. They damage, no surprises there. So mid worked, and that's where they return to. Let's see if Astralis have got any different protocols in place. They've certainly got a different setup. You can see three CTs ready and waiting. And that is the perfect incendiary. That completely stops any wide swing. They'll throw out one of their own to avoid the boost, and now swinging into the line. It, calling it clear, good smoke, and some space for G2 to stretch their legs. Well, they've got mid control, that's for sure. Amanek was able to perform in the previous round, but still 5-1 down here. This is a bit of a must win. It would actually break the money of Astralis as well. There's the first kill. Zipex going down, and Magus will respond, but it's up to Device oh. now. Dupree will find the frag that takes the lead here. Oh, Three yeah. versus one. Device he is on a mad one tonight. Amanek will pull one back from CT Spawn with a bomb. Vera minus down a forklift. Okay, so he does have to get a wiggle on. Yeah, like he'll have to be running now, really, to convince me he can even plant the bomb, and then he realizes that. Off he goes, and Glaive, he still has full control. He knows that he can drop this incendiary around now. And there we have get it. a chance. Glaive, great play. He doesn't even have to pull the bullets in the end. It's just the flames that burn Amanek down on his mission for retrieval and domination for Astralis again. Same kind of start we saw on Nuke, but this time they're on the defense. And they've only lost to that single round so far. And the five on two is a bit of an anomaly. It's not going to be sustainable for G2 going forward there. They do have a buy chat, but I see a Tech 9 and a distinct lack of utility. Yeah, maybe they head back towards that B bomb site because towards A they've been denied. Now towards middle they've had their woes. Back towards B with Kenny. He tried this on their force buy. He's trying it again. This time no damage. We forced away by the flashbang, but at least they've got B lobby control. AK-47 for Glaive here. Kenny S challenging. You can see they're getting a bit desperate for the kills. Difficult shots to land. No real strategy behind this one. Just trying to see if Kenny can open things up. Receiving a lot of damage here, but that's more like it. Next up, he'll take off the head of Glaive. Dupree will opt for quad again. This was where he started off his defensive fragging. They're going to boost. I wonder if Device is ready for this. No, he certainly will be with Magic Skinfo. You can see their setup. It's very prominent. Anyone wants to have a little look in middle, you're met by two on that swing. I think Dupree just caught the head. Could be just behind that cone there. This is this is the jewel. If Dupree goes down, B is going to be under a lot of pressure here. Not many nades left for G2 at this point. 50 seconds left, so they need to start grouping on up and trading out. Yeah, they're going to have to go back towards A, but looks things here. What's the call? They do know. reposition and go walking back in towards BLEs, but Dupree, he's got a great spot, but it looks like it might be good for one. We'll see if that rings true. Wow. First one found, and the second will be Jewel Dow. It's going to be back to the three on three, though. Very important kill for Magus. Can't quite find it, but there it is. 25 seconds remaining device. He'll find the penultimate frag. Yeah, he's just in the right place at the right time every time. And that should be it. Jax would have to be gifted this one. It's every really like confirm it now. I feel, like you just said that, I feel like just as you said <laughs> that, you've confirmed it. Yeah, yeah. no, Jax. Unfortunately, no time. He's just going to be backing away. That damage was enough to dissuade, and he'll be backing off towards T spawn. Bomb on his back, but absolutely no time. AK-47 for Zipex there. After getting the first kill, G2 can't convert. Loss bonus will be at $2,900, but uh, I don't think there's a buy available regardless. Nice Ooh. shot from Nexa. Uh, but Dupree, what a great reposition this was. Like I said, if you get that first kill cleanly, might be onto something. It was only good for one, but it said major scup for the double follow-up. Device watching middle, clean shot from him, and uh, we might be in eco territory. As Jax will... Oh, did they save the AK? So I've just no, done... yes, he did, yeah. Okay, that, there you yeah. go. I've just done the, the quick maths there. So f in the last 15 rounds of play, which is uh, the eight rounds here That's and the seven nuke. rounds that we're closing out with over there on Nuke, they've averaged 1.6 kills per round at the moment. They've only picked up one round probably in the last that, 15. Yeah, only one round in the last 15 has gone in G2 Esports yeah. fashion here. So it's very bleak out there when we paint the numbers like that. I think you, you maybe probably want five kills around on average. Probably. Look, that's, the, that's look the at the, the good angle numbers. device uses to clear the back box. Jack's almost burnt completely to death there, by the way. The next Molotov doing just as much damage to Nexa. They are getting destroyed. I'm, oh God, the wall up. Oh, I don't I don't really want to play by play this. This is just a massacre. You challenge ramp and they've got the wall bangs, they've got all of the cheeky angles and gimmicks and hard work 
to make that ramp a nightmare for the T-side. And bear in mind, this is one of the few, if only, T-sided maps we have left in the seven map pool. Good so point. G2 on their pick, the fact that eight one down now, it really doesn't bode well. They're already two zero down in maps, given the advantage Astralis entered this grand final with. And right now, Alex, there's nothing showing me we won't see the, the three zero come through. G2 in best of fives, their track record That's is- That's such uh, a good point. Is a bleak one. Yeah. League what? of Legends. Yeah. Uh, Rocket League. Did they do good in Rocket League? I'm not quite I sure. I have no idea. Chad it's, got some Rocket League stats it's a, it's for a, us. A G, it's like a, it's an organization-wide <laughs> meme right. at this point, right? So we had the grand final at IEM Katowice where they got destroyed by Na'Vi in the best of five. This would be another one to potentially add to that tally. Their League of Legends team was owning within Europe and then they get destroyed within the final to uh, FPX, I believe it was. Look at me Chad, keeping up with other video hell? games. Who is this? I'm not sure who I am anymore, ladies and gentlemen, but we're getting the next gun round underway here and we need to see some fight from G2 here. They're going all in towards A. I don't know about you, Chad, but I'd rather get stomped by Astralis than Fun Plus Phoenix. One of them sounds like a CS team and one of them sounds like a McDonald's toy. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately for G2, we had a bit of hype around that round, some uh, timeout as well, but ultimately oh. the same result. A nice shot from Kenny S, but it leads to nothing. 9-1 Astralis, the double kill from Glaive to open things up there. They're managing to get the, the M4s up to the disc. Thank you, pardon. M4, double through the smoke. They're trying to throw the kitchen sink at them now, but it's 9-1. Could be the final map as well. Underwhelming so far from G2 on their pick, and there's another eco that looks things there. We'll see a Desert Eagle for Nexa, and he's in game leader, confirms that they won't be investing much here. Mac 10s, Tech 9s, it's how they managed to get around on Nuke, I'll say that much, but doesn't exactly get everyone fired up here. We'll see. Oh, Device taking an aggressive line, and the spray from Dupree, just the double Ds, and they've done it all. Nexa only with an armored Deagle, and he's got five of them breathing down the back of his neck. This round ends cool. at 1 minute 35. We just had a 15 second round of Counter-Strike. Yeah, that's probably a record for the road to Rio, to be honest with you. We haven't had many fast rounds, I'll be honest, but uh, here's Debris and Device. Difficult to keep up with all the frags coming oh, forward boys. here, but the partial buy gets some absolutely bugger all there. Can we throw in the towel? Is there, do we have that feature yet? Not yet. I think they took it out. I think the best we can do is maybe jumping off the building. <laughs> that would be it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want G2 Esports to be... Uh, Giving us a million dollar baby moment. Keep the stools out of the octagon. Jack's in trouble. He's gone. Oh, there was no trade potential as well. It's like a one second window to do anything with that. Look it's at Hunter. Been... Can we just keep checking with him? He was looking at the floor in a smoke. He's trying to rat on Zipex. But let's see how difficult it is from his POV. Can we turn X-ray off for this one? Daddy mode me rush. Thank you. I'm Hunter and I want to try and find. Wow, you just get a quick flash and Zipex. He goes and oh, finds your come teammate on, as boys. well. Five on two in random That's six. That's true, they did so, give him a chance. There is something here. Maybe there is again. A you never know. Five, give it to me. Perfect uh, okay. angle. Well, maybe not. Great shot. Kenny's been having a couple of them, but unfortunately, not a single one has translated into a round win. Yikes. Yeah, that, that kind of says it all. The fact the only round they've got is recovering a five on two situation where Astralis are probably feeling like, oh, this round's in the bag, we'll start running at them. Really is quite alarming if you're a G2 fan. So 21 kills now with 12 rounds played. Doesn't add up to, to many successful rounds. And at 11 to one, G2 Esports are having an absolute nightmare this evening. They knew they were coming in without the pressure. Astralis knew they were favorites. G2 knew Astralis were the favorites, but it seems that watching it manifest in the server is, it's bleak. Yeah, we we're expecting a bit of a hype on here on Vertigo, but uh, so far Astralis just dumpstering them. Wow. Making them look foolish <laughs> out there. Oh, boys. <laughs> oh, no. It's so comfortable. If you want to take notes on your Astralis, uh, rather your Vertigo CT setups, look no further than Astralis. Clearly very well versed. They're all heading towards max money and they're looking to finish this game before we even get to the here's, second half. Here's a fun one. So opening jewels on this map, 11 to two in favor of Astralis. Multi kills, 16 for Astralis, <laughs> two for G2. Oh, they've got two rounds where players got more than one kill. That is, uh, that's not ideal. It's really not, it really kind of shows you why this has fallen apart. They're just gonna keep sending it towards air, I guess. And uh, it's one of those things like you're in Inferno sort of thing, just keep rushing banana, eventually one of these will work out, but it's oh, the exact God. same result. Oh, God. They haven't even done damage yet as Glaive 
He knows his round's still possible to lose, so he might be really aim at this stage. Kenny pulls one back, four versus two. Kenny and Amadek remain, but they've got next to nothing. A few flashbangs, one smoke. I don't waiting for CT mistakes. I don't know if the call against Astralis is to fight Ramp early. I think if yeah. anyone wants to beat them, it wouldn't involve contesting that cluster truck. I, I think right now, if you just look at the way, we're already 12 1 in. This game feels like it's flown past. It does. There's been some games that we have done on the road to Rio that have taken over an hour and a half just to complete 30 rounds of Counter Strike. This right here. This is a stomp, and G2 Esports, they know it. Henry's already outlined that for Vertigo, it's a map that we expect quite a few T-side rounds. Definitely. And, and what's so crazy, here's the stat for you. The average rounds of Road to Rio, we had someone tr crunching the numbers on Reddit. It was breaching 30, yeah. 31, if I'm not mistaken, well, at times. Especially this week. This what's, week, in especially. Well, before I get into more stats here, this one's actually kind of evolving. We might actually have a chance for G2. It's a three on two now. 30 yeah. seconds remaining, close as they've been in a while. Kenny, he's managed to hit a couple of great shots, but they haven't led to much success. And it could be the same story here. Just Amadek remaining here, and he will pull one back. 20 seconds. Here we go. Close as they've been in some time here. And not going to convert. 13 to 1. Uh, G2, when they play Vertigo, if they lose it, they average 13.5 rounds on their losses of Vertigo in the last three months, that is. So, wow. generally speaking, even when they lose this map, they make it very competitive. This has got to be some sort of hot, historic sort of deficit for them. We were, uh, the point I was trying to get to, albeit jumbled through stats, was that we haven't seen a stomp. I mean, we were saying this in yeah. the car, yeah. you know, like how often have we casted a stomp over the last 60 days? Well, it, this has been a bit of a strange event. I feel like the fact we've had, un, what, in one stage of the European division, it was averaging 32 yeah, rounds per map, which is nuts. Uh, I don't think anyone can really explain as to why that's happening. It's obviously a strange environment here. As we'll get into the final round of this first half, do not adjust your sets. Astralis are 13 to 1 up on the CT side of G2's pick. Two maps to their name, and if they get this third, it's all done. Oh, look at the damage. And it's going to be Nexa to start us off. In the proceedings this time, favoring G2. Maybe Hunter can find another. This is what he does best, but he's been completely muzzled, and Hunter finally ripping the muzzle from his jaw and bears his canines. 4v3, bomb yet to be planted. That does go through. Best shot we've seen from G2, just to try and finish with something to show for this T side. Look at the smoke Astralis have just thrown onto that bomb. That's lovely. That just bounces. Poetically, DTs. straight onto the bomb, but it's not a default plant. It's wide. The smoke has not paid off. So, final round here. G2 look good to get their second. I don't think it'll be enough, but the smoke comes down. The defuse could be available. Hunter watching the bomb like a hawk. Raise the first device, hits it. Glaive hits another. Not like this. Nexa will deal with Hello, I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling good. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for G2 because I know with absolute certainty that they are down in the dump. Sure, the underdog, but nobody enjoys a 13-2 shellacking. No, absolutely not. And Astralis, they win this pistol, call this grand final done. It's must win for G2 at this point. And they're being very active. Again, I, I guess they have to be, Chad. They're just trying to find uh, surprising maneuvers here. There's a gap. Oh. And Nexa could actually do enough of this one. And oh, oh, Dupree, what a maneuver. Crouches <laughs> under his crosshair there. Makes him look silly. How's he ready for that? And he's more than ready. Amadek will have to drop the smoke. And they'll be fine with that. They know just baited out early utility. The only single smoke out of this CT side will no longer be a part of the kit. You can see Amonex chosen to deploy this early. Stuff all their nades oh, here. Oh, they've as got well. everything. Yeah, two smoke, three smokes, Molotov, oh. two HGs, two flashbangs. Yeah, Chad makes a very good point. See you, man. Oh, Kenny does get hit by the howitzer. That's right. They have released and Dupree. Well, oh, goodness me. It's just a mess. Amanek and Kenny S yes, left on the chopping block and Glaive rips another. Just takes the nose off of Kenny S. Yes, Amanek. They can just go to preserve his face. They could go to anywhere they want, to be honest, Chad. Everywhere they go, death and destruction seems to follow. Well, that's the round. No oh, look, real they... point building this one up anymore. Amanek might be able to get a couple of kills, I suppose, but ultimately they should have swarm him like this, and there'll be nothing found at all. Three for Dupree. What an influential play from the connector as well. How he had the awareness that could be a possibility, I couldn't tell you, but 
It's certainly influential in their success. Chad, can you take notes on that one? Sure. The, uh, the plant, when he, Glaive was planting, Zipex jumped on his head, and then you've got a perfect headshot angle over the, over the box. Oh, beautiful stuff. Real Real nice. Continuing to give us some uh, fresh material here. But look, we may only have two rounds of play left, guys, and there's one individual that we haven't really spoken to a lot throughout this green. What do you make of this mess? This is mental. I can't believe it, honestly. This is uh, this is a stomping, like you said. You think it's a 16-2? You think we're going to finish it uh, in two oof. rounds? I believe in the G2 boys. I think they got a couple left in the You got tank. a boost cam, Rush? A boost cam? For this uh, one? You know, this one kind of works. That works. I like that. I think Nex is ready for it, though. He seems aware. He certainly does. Thank you, Rush Lee. <laughs> <laughs> seems aware. He's the perfect co-commentator. <laughs> Missing his shots. Nexa does get caught. Glaive aggressive. And he doesn't have too much support. Now he will. Oh, the flash. Jax, five seconds without any vision as has restored. There's three T's jumping at him. Mac 10 for Magisk, and he will catch him through the pillar. Hunter needs a fresh clip, but he won't get the chance. It's Device who's on for the Twitch clip instead. Championship point has been found for Astralis now. Amanek, the last player remaining, they're going to get $2,400 on top of that zero. 15 2 down. I think you know which way this one is going, but there's a kill. Ay, ay, ay. That's not even recoverable in terms of the weapon. Do you think people at home might get upset if we said uh, call this one done? Uh, yes. I was going to, but I, I, that's why. You I held yourself it. back? Yeah, yeah exactly. you held it back. 15-2. Exactly. We can't even say this one might be done. Championship point, though. Okay. You that's can what say we'll that. Say. 13 straight now needed from G2 yeah, Esports to bring this back and take us into overtime <laughs> on map number technically three, but two. And God, the MP9s it are out. MP9, the <laughs> MP9's middle. Oh, MP9. for send us, it. G2. You got to send it. I'll tell you now, for those of you watching at home, when you're in situations like this, you're about to be knocked out of a grand final. Which we find ourselves in more all often than the time, not. All the time, all the time. Just whip out the MP9's middle. We won't see them go for the strategy, but running them down. Oh, they will run, run boost Nexa onto the box. That's actually pretty sexy. Straight over the line of sight as well. Could be something we'll see more of, but not a conversation for now, because as Henry has painted the picture, and I will continue to try and fill in, but Astralis are about to continue to be the kings of the Counter-Strike castle. Jax. Ooh, the Joker. Looking to cause a bit of a problem in court today. And the nades, double of them, of course. They seem to travel in pairs. Noah's nades and device. He's found them the opening on A. He's so pushed up. He's right behind enemy lines. He's like, he can win this round on his own, and it looks like he's off to with the races already. Double kill, and a Molotov in perfect timing for Kenny. Yes, he's gonna burn. He's burning, it's spreading straight into the oh, come aim. come on, boys. Device has had enough. He has got dinner plans, you're absolutely right, and he's taking a look at his watch. He's gotta get this one done. Two remaining for G2, and it could be just two for G2 to end this grand final. I think he might be right. We're coming to the last couple of kills here. Astralis have done it. Nexa, he knows what's up next. Just effects, jumping and great shots, reminiscent of a long gone player in the name of Scream. And now he's found a second, needs a third, and Device has gone down, a fresh mag. He hasn't got a kit. If only he did, he wishes. He could just have spent the extra 400 bucks. It's not possible.